So if you thought this hell wasn't confusing enough, it's about to become even more confusing because look, we need a different kind of power supply. Lovely. And we're gonna unplug this, 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 this. I think it's free. Oh, it's not free. <laughs> we need much more smaller and compact. This motherboard. So that means I gotta get rid of the power supply too. Which means I have to friggin' unplug everything. Oh great, now we need another power supply. Oh, guess where it is? Oh, no problem. It's just in there. I'll get it out someday. Oh, God. Very, uh, very itchy. Oh, oh God. Oh. Guess where it is? Oh, I think you can see it. We think we can see it. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh. Well, I, I got it. Well, I will say that this power supply is a little overkill for this, but uh, it'll make it work. This is probably the messiest video um, I've ever made. Wrong way. Don't do that. Well, at least that went in without a hitch. Okay, we need some RAM too. I'm assuming this will work. I guess we'll plug this in next. Okay, that's our IDE there, and then get the floppy on the case, and it will. Okay, so this is almost ready to start up. Uh, what more do we need? Ah, yes! We need to be able to see it and control it. Uh, if I can even see what's going on back here. Okay. Come on, come on. Got this. Alright. Okay. Well, yeah, the poppy just doesn't have power. Gotta fix that. Alright, fixed. And we must plug in the power supply. Okay. And let's power it on. Oh wait. This motherboard needs to be powered on with a button. I need a button. Here, button, 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 button. Where did you go? It must be in here somewhere. Ha! I found you. Ah, yes. Now, this is the hardest part of the entire thing. I think it goes there. Nope. Let's try like this. We're definitely on. Like that's going. I don't have anything on the screen. Hey buddy, pal, motherboard, why aren't you working? Uh, well, uh, that could be a bad RAM or wrong RAM, so let's uh, force part of this off. Now, normally you should exercise better discipline with these kind of things. That's 512 sound. Sound pretty good. It'll probably make it crash or something. Alright, let's try it again. Oh, I got a different video card. If that one doesn't work, my only concern is that the floppy disk did not seek. So, that could be an issue. Alright, let's try it now. Whoa! Hey! I don't know this was a Hewlett Packard board. Hey, beeping now. Okay, alright. Uh, CMOS checksum failed. Yep. No, no surprise there. Uh, oh. 
I know one potential problem. The keyboard that's currently plugged in is underneath all of that crap. So, could have been some keys are getting held down, potentially. Ah, there she is. Oh yeah, if you're wondering about this guy that looks like a semi-modern video card, I'm just sort of throwing around. This is, uh, this has issues, so... It's a problem, child. Okay, so the good news is, is that we have an AMD K6 something or other. It does detect the, uh, the SD card adapter, and it has some errors and whatnot. So, uh, let's go ahead and F2 to resume. Will it boot off of the compact flash adapter? Or is that unbootable? Okay. This, this is a sound. This is just too quiet. If you're hearing a fan noise, it's from my main computer. Um, secondary master. Okay. Eight megabytes of RAM? That's all this stick was? <laughs> it was just eight megabytes of RAM. Okay. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, installed OS. go. Save and exit. Yes, I know, you want your precious CMOS battery. Mm -hmm. Well, that's new. Why you no boot? Like ambrosia of the gods. There. That thing better not be dead. Check date and time setting. Okay. Well, you don't believe me that it's 1990? Ah, three. How's that? No more booting problems. I tell you right now. Done sick of it. I think the other board doesn't actually have a CMOS battery that is removable. Well, there is one more thing we can do. Now they're on a different motherboard. We can try one of the other hard disks. Remember how the motherboard got hung up on this 20 gig hard disk? We could just try to install it all over again, although that's a pain in the ass. Or we could just copy all the files from the SD card to this and uh, skip over all that other extra effort. Maybe I shouldn't use that. Okay, so here's our uh, so here's our MS-DOS 6 SD card. There's our Windows 386 we installed. Uh, this is actually running off of USB 3, interestingly enough. But uh, the actual SD card itself is like speed class 4, so it doesn't really make any difference. Here's the other drive. This is the weed drive. Okay, so we got weed here. So we click and drag all this from here to there. And I think it's already done because it's a small amount of data. Size on disk 8.3 megs. Properties, info. 8.3 megs. Okay. So we copied all the files over. Will that make it bootable? I have no idea. <laughs> but uh, at least they're there. There is actually a, supposedly a command that can make a drive bootable if it isn't. So let's try it. Alright, so we're back off the drug that is SSD, and we're back to this guy again, which now we're going to try again in the event that it will actually work with this motherboard. Will it boot to it? I have no idea. It's kind of a crapshoot whether any of this is going to work at all. There it goes. At least you know that it's turning on when it turns on. Operating system not found? Well, that's better than it was before. Hmm. Let's have it boot off the floppy disk. As we boot it from the boot disk again, can we access C?
Well, I don't know where to fucking do anymore. This thing doesn't work. <laughs> Nothing fucking works, man. I wasted so much time doing this. Okay, so I fucked up the jumpers. There are our files again. Hello. Alright. So let's try this. Should actually have exactly the same effect as using the SSD or the SD card. So uh, let's load up the command line interpreter. Okay. And finally, win386. Should do exactly the same thing. Oh my god. Okay. Let's dish out some shit. I had no idea that I had a RAM stick that legitimately was only 8 megabytes. Um. I'm just shocked. So, let's just add a little bit more because apparently 8 megabytes is not enough for Windows 2, which doesn't make any sense. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't think this is going to help. 8 megabytes should be enough. Um, but the problem is, I don't have high mem. That's, that's the problem. Okay, I guess 8 megabytes really isn't enough. Alright, let's see how much RAM we got now. Command. Then. Now we have 15 megabytes of memory. Even though the actual stick says 512 on it. Whatever. Okay. Win 386. That's not good. <laughs> but I got another idea. No partitions are set active. <laughs> I forgot to do that. Damn it. All right. Holy shit. This is not a bootable disk. Please insert a bootable floppy and press any key to try again. At least it found the disk, which is a considerable improvement. So now we're going to reinstall MS-DOS, because I don't know what else to do. This is probably the third time today I've had to reinstall MS-DOS. <laughs> Maybe it'll allow me to fix the installation. Yes, replace old version of DOS. Yes. Yes. Okay. Alright. Let it run. Okay. Will this drive be bootable? It's time to find out. If Windows actually installed anything inside the DOS directory, it probably got overwritten. And I'll have to install Windows again. Oh my god! It's booting off the hard disk! Yes! It actually did it! Oh my god! Oh god, I gotta, 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 Alright, we gotta, we gotta do this. Uh, win 386. Shit. Um. Fuck. Uh, CD win. 386 in 386 high memory area in use I'm gonna have to install Windows again are you fucking serious I'm up oh, no. I'm MS DOS is resident in the high memory area oh man I have to install Windows again again I'm gonna cut it out but I'm going to do it and come back.
okay? So just, uh, if you want to experience the same thing that happened again, just go back in the video or the point where I installed Windows, and you'll get to essentially see the same thing again. Well, this is new. You have 637 kilobytes of conventional, 13 megabytes of free extended, zero kilobytes of free expanded, in order to use Smart Drive, which is described in Appendix C, speeding up Windows with Smart Drive, your Windows user's guide is necessary to add the following line to your config sys file, smart drive sys 3056. Memset can do this for you, and yes, change all of the config syses. All right. And, okay, we're done. Control, delete, eject this. And now, hopefully, we should actually be able to boot Windows. Should just do it. I, I feel pretty confident it's going to work this time. Because if it doesn't, I don't know what else to do. Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? Incorrect DOS version? Oh no, the DOS is newer than the Windows. I forgot. Oh no. 386. No. <laughs> oh, it's good fix it. I forgot. Ah, DOS load. Ha, bitch. That's gonna make it not boot up. <laughs> you can load DOS into 640k RAM, right? Should be able to. Hi, mem. Holy crap! I don't care if. Smart drive doesn't work. I don't even know what that crap is. Uh, win 386. Oh my god. This is taking way long. I know what my problem is now. I use the version of MS DOS that was too new. And the only way to fix it now is to install an old version of DOS. And okay, so I just so happen to have MS DOS 3.31, which just so happens to be the version that is perfect for Windows 2. This is from like 1988 or something, or that version of DOS is from 1988. This is not from 1988. Uh, so we'll have to install DOS for the fourth time. <laughs> That's okay, because uh, I have the plan so I won't have to re reinstall Windows again at least. So let's see if we can just install DOS without having to boot the computer off the drive, which probably won't work. Okay. Okay. Is it? Oh, right. That was before. That's back when people just ran the operating system off the damn disk. Set up. I typed control C. Oh, my God. <laughs> Right. Hmm. Well, at least now we have the old version loaded. Let's see if we can access the C drive. Win 3D. What? 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 This is the old F disk. Looks horrible. All right. What total disk space is 1023 cylinders?
It can't read the C drive. DOS can't actually read the C drive. The fuck do you want me to do? Oh my god. It looks so crappy. Oh. No label. I definitely had a label. That label was weed. Don't bullshit me around. C is the fixed disc and it's picking it up. But it's not reading it right. Okay, so I got this floppy disk here. It's MS DOS 5. I'm gonna plug it in and control delete. Holy crap, it's a single floppy install of MS DOS 5. Oh my god, let's do it. Install to the hard disk. Yes. That, nothing's gonna go wrong here. According to this. It's only meant to set up a basic version of DOS. So we may not have support for HiMem or some stuff like that, but I don't see how. It's like nerd ASMR. And it's not shell. So we're closer to Windows than we ever were before. Let's get out of this. Oh, I guess we don't really need to. We can just use the shell. Uh, how do you do that? Does mouse work? No. Okay. Uh, tab. Directory tree. Okay. Now we're in the Win386 directory. High memory in use, okay. Exit. C D period period. Edit uh edit config dot sys DOS high make that low and edit auto odd C dot that and yes, it wants to load the DOS hell. Yeah, that's right. Seriously though, we need to load up the old version of the Auto EXE CBAT, which just so happens to be exit. So we have to do move to Okay. Alright, cool. Now let's restart. So what I just did is I restored the old config sys. So I didn't really restore the config sys, I just edited it so it looked exactly the same. And then I reloaded the old auto exe cbat. Except now we're using MS-DOS 5 instead. So this is like a total crapshoot. I have no idea what's gonna happen. XMS driver, okay. Installed A20 handler number one, 64k high memory area is available. So it didn't give me any errors, so uh win three a six. What? By what? 64k high memory, okay. Uh Okay, as you can see, a little bit of time has passed. Um, this whole time has been essentially spent trying to figure out how to get this thing working. And it, the answer sort of came to me in the form of a comment on some dude's website. Probably put that up on the screen right now to, to sort of figure out the final answer for what's going on. Um, a couple of minutes ago you probably saw me trying to uh, fix up a bunch of stuff with hymem.sys. Trying to get it into the auto ex into the config sys file, having it load up so that um, Windows 386 could uh, load into the high memory area. Well, according to what I learned, you're not even supposed to do that. You're not even supposed to use highmap.sys. Let's go back here a little bit. If we edit uh, 
We edit the config sys right now. This is what it looks like after the Windows 386 installation. It didn't add HiMem sys, and I had to manually remove it from the MS-DOS 5. Yes, now we're on MS-DOS 5.0, even though we don't really need to be. Um, I've lost count of how many times I've actually installed DOS. Holy crap. It must have been like five times today. <laughs> All off of floppy disks. So, um, right. So I guess this is it then. We don't have high memesys running. Um, Windows 386 is supposed to load itself into high memory through its own kind of magic. And so it says all you have to do to launch it is to go win386. Oh, after rebooting. Okay, so we got a reboot. Okay. So now I should just be able to type win386. And wait. What? 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 This is not supposed to happen. Doctor. Doctor. Oh. Yes.